No one's perfect. And when the average imperfect individual finds him or herself in a leadership position, there are suddenly many more opportunities to mess up. My own experience has proven this to be true. As the scope of responsibility grows, the likelihood of making a mistake increases. To avoid many common mistakes, make these five actions the core of your approach to your leadership Always respect team members. For some reason, it's amazingly common for a person to assume a leadership role and completely forget what it was like to be on the other side. If you don't like how you were treated before, don't treat your team that way. Don't become what you previously despised. Communicate, communicate, communicate. Now, now this goes two ways. On the one hand, you want to keep people informed. Maybe your team members don't need to know everything, but informed workers perform better. On the other hand, you want to establish a culture that encourages subordinates to communicate with the boss. The most valuable information and the best ideas come from those closest to the action. Listen to them. Articulate a clear and compelling mission. Often the team doesn't really know the organization's real mission or how they fit into that mission. Sure, they know their jobs, but they aren't clear about where their organization is going and how they can help it get there. When a leader can explain not only the organization's mission and goals, but also how the team and each member of the team is important to accomplishing them, that team will be much more effective. Laugh at yourself. A good sense of humor is essential to maintaining sanity as a leader. Many leaders take themselves too seriously. The ability to laugh at your own mistakes goes a long way toward making life more bearable. It doesn't mean leaders shouldn't take their responsibilities seriously. Just that a lighter approach works better and will help you live longer. Finally, don't fall in love with power. There's a saying that power tends to corrupt. If you need an example of this, just look at many politicians. But you don't have to be a politician, a CEO, or live in the C-suite for this to be a problem. Even a little bit of power can cause an addiction that will be disastrous for leadership success. Leaders will quickly adapt to the perks of their position, no matter how small those perks might be, and they'll want more. Whatever small amount of power they may have will soon become insufficient. And that's when the trouble starts. At first it's minor, like flaunting their new parking spot or demanding a seat by the window or treating workers like servants. But the quest for more power, or at least the perks that come with more power, can quickly lead to an unwary leader down a road that leads to dismissal or even prison. It's best not to think of leadership as power. Rather know it for what it really is, responsibility. So you embrace these actions and everything will be rosy, right? No, but you'll be a better leader and your team will be more effective. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to see more, uh, click on the subscribe button right here. I'm always loading new content. And speaking of content, in the description below, there's a link. Go to that link. It takes you to our website where you can download a lot more uh, great information. It's no sales. It's all free. Just want to give you some tips, tools, and techniques to help you be a more effective leader.